Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on saving, opening, and editing macro-enabled workbooks in Excel. I now have an Excel worksheet open and in this file I have already created a macro as you can see here. I have not yet saved this file so in order to save this file with a macro because when I do just a basic save, I must do a file save as. If I respond with a no here to continue saving as a macro free workbook, then it will prompt me into save as and I can now do two things. I can edit my file name and I can edit my save as type to Excel macro enabled workbook and go ahead and save that. Now I have a macro-enabled workbook. If I close that out, now let's see what happens when I open that workbook up with the macro. It's going to prompt me to enable the content because it has a macro in it. It gives me this security warning. If I choose to do so, I can go on and since this is a workbook that I created, I'm continuing on. Those are the basics of saving opening workbooks with macros. Now let's take a look at editing. To edit I simply find my macro in the off of the developer ribbon and I choose to edit it. Here it pops up in Visual Basic Code so I can edit in VBA. So if I wanted perhaps the cell that my customer data worksheet goes back to to be say A2, I could change A1 to A2, save that and continue on. You can change anything in here you want. You can add code if you decide you need to do that. Not all of us are excelling at editing in VBA but the skill is available to you if you choose to learn it and you can easily edit that from Excel.